Hey, this is John Hardison from Studio 113 at East Hall High School in Gainesville, Georgia. In our first video about wall wisher or Padlet, we looked at how you set up a wall of notes and how you share them. In this video, video number two, we're going to look at how you simply post to that wall of notes. Let's get going. <clears throat> As you can see, we have a wall. It just simply needs to have some notes posted on it. And let's look at how you do that. Double click. I always have my students put in their names so that we can refer back to those comments later on, especially during a class discussion. Right here, this is where they may write in a paragraph long summary or explanation or creative idea. For the time being, I'm just writing in this is just a test. Now in its simplest form, that's all you have to do. You simply have to imagine uh, what your students would be posting right here and how much you would ask them to write. Once they have posted, they can move this around wherever. I always ask students to help me keep it neat and tidy, but if they do not, just remember you can always log in since you have created the wall and then you can adjust that and you can delete some posts. I'm going to leave that one as it is and show you that very simple form. And let's double click here and do something else. For sake of time, I'm going to put in Mr. H and just pretend I have written something here. You know how simple that is. Let's add in a link. As you can see, there are many options here. Let's add in the link. Now this one would be an article that does pertain to the class we are creating next year where we're flipping a class and creating a full-length movie. I'm going to copy that and that is in WordPress. So here I want to show you how it acts a little bit differently. When I add that in, it comes up as an attachment. And I'm supposing that's because it's in WordPress. However, let's do another one. And again, remember I could easily post something here. Let's go this time to a website about Steven Spielberg and his top 10 movies that would relate to what we're going to be doing next school year. Going to control C, copy that, and then notice how this one shows a bit differently. Very, very cool. Gives you a little snippet or preview of that web page. So, there are three different examples. Let's look at another one. Double click, and there we go. Pretend I've written something here explaining what I have uploaded, and now I can go upload a file. And just for the sake of this activity, I've made a file called test file for Padlet and here it comes. There we are. And one more thing I wanted to show you while we're in Wall Wisher or Padlet. Let's double click and bypass these two we've already done. Let's go to the webcam and I'm going to say allow and you should see me in just a second. Try it again. There we are. All right. Hey, and what I'm going to do here is take a picture and wait for it to upload. And there it is. And I know many of you may be thinking, why would you do that? Uh, how does that pertain to the class? Of course, with language arts, we could easily do non-linguistic representations of what we're reading at that time, what we're studying. We oftentimes do statues or what we've called our wax museums, uh, some of our original structures, and we just bring in the smartphones and we bring in the cameras and the webcams. So that's an example. I wanted to leave you with one more thing you can do just to show you how flexible this website is. And let's go to our hover cam where I have my smartphone and I'm going to go right here try my best to get it to where you can see it pretty well I've already copied in a wall wisher here should be the same one and here it comes up now of course it's not as user friendly but imagine this on an iPad or a tablet what I'm going to do is double click, there it is, and I'm going to type in my name, there we are, and of course I could write some more, 
Now if you can see, I'm trying to move it to where you can see a little bit better. You can see I have an upload file, so I'm going to upload. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to browse. I'm going to go to an existing photo. And let's just pretend that, let's see here. Let's pretend this photo right here is what I want. Let's pretend that that relates. There goes the file uploading. And there it is. So, as you can see, you can do this from your smartphone, tablet, laptop, basically BYOD, and it's very, very flexible. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video, and give it a shot. See ya.